Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you how the Earth receives heat from the Sun. Well, it doesn't receive heat directly. The space between the Earth and the Sun, of course, is a vacuum. It doesn't contain any material, so heat can't be conducted and you can't get any convection. All you can get is radiation. And coming from the Sun are various kinds of radiation, ultraviolet, infrared, visible X-rays, radio waves. Of course, all of these are uh, electromagnetic radiations. We say they are electromagnetic radiations. And light, visible radiation, light is just one of these electromagnetic radiations. Now, as these radiations impinge on the atmosphere above the Earth, they can be absorbed by the atmosphere, and having absorbed them, the atmosphere then emits radiation as infrared. So, when the X-rays, for example, come from the Sun, most of them don't get to us here on Earth because they're absorbed in the upper layers of the atmosphere, and are converted to other forms of radiation, particularly infrared, which means that the Earth warms up. So this is a very important thing because it protects us from the uh, X radiation, which is dangerous. It also, it also provides heat, making the planet warmer than it would normally be. Infrared radiation does come directly from the Sun, but it's at a very low level, and therefore we can't really significantly feel that radiation. Ultraviolet is another radiation which again is absorbed in the atmosphere. This is the radiation, of course, which gives us a nice suntan or gives us sunburn if we're not careful. But again, that radiation can be absorbed in the atmosphere, giving out infrared at a lower red, uh, level. Infrared radiation is a lower energy radiation than any of these ultraviolet, than even visible, than X-rays. Lower energy than that are radio waves, and radio waves has a very low level. So that's basically how heat gets to us from the sun.